I'm a big fan of Will and Grace. Thank you. All right, it's Max Muchnick, the creator of Will and Grace, on the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riot. It's a pride explosion. And Max has a special connection to the Stonewall Inn. First place I ever had a, uh, a drink at a gay bar, actually. Oh, really? He was on a high school trip, and he snuck into the Stonewall Inn, and that's where he had his first ever beverage. Oh, I thought that was going to end differently. Yeah. <laughs> nope. And the story continues. And it's amazing to me that oh, 25 years ago that I snuck away to that bar to uh, make sure nobody knew I was gay. And yesterday I was taking pictures of my kids in front of it. Truly awesome. Do you think Will and Grace would have happened without something like that? I think Will and Grace happened because of Ellen DeGeneres. Yes! When Ellen came out on her sitcom in 1997, it paved the way for other gay characters to be accepted on TV, even though Ellen's career took a huge hit because of it. A lot of times there's a sacrificial lamb, like the first person who does something is punished for it, but then it paves the way for everybody else. It was a career killer for her. And we've never heard from Ellen again. Kidding! She's worth a bajillion dollars now! Fun fact! Better be fun. Max Munchnick sold his Beverly Hills home to Ellen DeGeneres. And Ellen DeGeneres then sold it to Ryan Seacrest. I'll go interesting more than fun, but since your other facts are so unfun, we'll give you credit for this. Look who's on the board! So, thanks, Max!